everyone, this is Vicki at Messy Table Studio. I did a live today with Barbara Clark and Peg Robinson, and I forgot to turn my camera on so I could do a separate video. So here I am today, <laughs> trying to make up for lost time. So in the live that we did last week, I wanted to try this idea with the toilet paper roll and watercolor, and I really did not, it caved in and it didn't go well, and so I gave up. But I want, it doesn't, I just want to make it work. So I got myself a new roll and I'm going to stamp with watercolor and doodle in them. And that's what I'm doing today. Let me go set up my watercolor and I'll be right back. Alrighty, let's see. I'm sorry about the overhang of the, the cord. I keep moving it and it decides to move on its own and does what it darn well pleases. All right, so I'm not to very... I don't give watercolor the respect that it deserves, so I'm going to continue with my same lack of <laughs> reverence for watercolor. Um, I just have never been obsessed with wetting my watercolors before I start. I see so many people spray them, and I don't do that. I never have, and I probably never will. So I'm going to take this little dish that I brought back on my lap on the plane from France to use for food and don't ever use it for food. So I decided that we're gonna use it for watercolor. So what I'm doing is I'm trying to wet down the watercolor, add some dirty water to it. I love dirty water watercolors. I, I just can't, I, I cannot keep my water clean enough. <laughs> so I gave up. And sometimes it looks like Swamp Thing lives in it, but I don't really care. Didn't change any of the color of, no, it didn't, didn't change a thing. All right, so that's wet. Let me set this right here. Was it gonna roll off? Probably. All right, so I folded the um, toilet paper roll. I went looking for the paper towel one, but somebody with a manly name threw it out and actually took the trash out. <laughs> I could faint. Uh, okay, and so I can't get it smashed down flat so I'm going to just paint the edges and wet. I'm going to wet them. See if this works. I hope it does because I would re I really like this idea. <gasps> oh, look. It worked. Can you see it? It's very light, but yes, it works. It works. Okay. Let's put some more red in here. Let's move that up there so you can see what I'm doing. Can you see that? Yeah. Okay. So I'm going to do it again. The other person that I saw do this dipped it right into the watercolor. The only problem is, is that it doesn't... Oh, okay, so it happened again. Oh, two times in a row I could faint. Let me squeeze it in a different direction. See, the problem is when you want this little dip right here, it kind of caves in. This is fine around here and around the humps, but right there in that middle portion is where it doesn't do so well. So we're going to add some extra paint to this just to be sure we get what we want. The only reason you're doing this is to get the outline, the red, and the rest of it, you just do with the brush. If I remember correctly from watching it. Let me put this on there and try again. Nee, nee, nee. Oh! I'm sorry, I just excited a project worked out. <laughs> don't tell me y'all don't squeal with the light when something works. I'm not the only crazy person out here with art where you get, where you look at something and you're like, oh my, that turned out really great. And I, I'm excited. All right, let me get some more red. This is my uh, uh, Shihan Korean or Japanese watercolors. I know they're not Chinese. Um, that's what I'm using. This is, I have a couple palettes in here that are Daniel Smith, but... Not too many, because I don't just don't have a lot of Daniel Smith. Isn't that a shame? If I got a job, I could. <laughs> I'm not willing to go that far. So I just want to stamp my whole page. I am super duper stoked this worked. Look at that. Yay! do the same thing with a potato. Oh, I loves it. 
That's so cute. Look at that. Okay, so that's probably dead. Although I will set it aside just in case I change my mind about the deadness. And I need more water. Now I'm just going to kind of bleh around the edges. Let me start at the top so I don't rub my hands in it. Because I am notorious. Oh, the other day I was working on gluing something. And I, I, I know better, but, you know, just because you know better doesn't mean you actually do it. Um, I was in a nicer shirt, not a paint shirt, and raked my sleeve right through some glue. So I had to rush out of here, go drown my arm in water in the kitchen sink so that my shirt wasn't completely and totally ruined. I don't know how it's going to turn out, but I tried to get as much of the glue out of my shirt as is possible, was possible. And I was just kicking myself, and I thought, eh. So I'll buy another cheap shirt from Walmart. Who cares? <laughs> just get another shirt. I've ruined so many shirts from painting. That's why I try to wear the same ugly shirts that have holes in them, that have paint splatters on them, because I know that I'm going to ruin a shirt. I do have aprons. But, you know, they're on the back of the door, and I never think to put them on. I probably should, but I don't. Woulda, shoulda, coulda, woulda, coulda, shoulda, whatever that saying is. I don't want to, oh, this, oh, look at that. Huh, okay. This is Strathmore Tantone paper. The whole book is. I used a lot of Strathmore to make this book. I think I made my book too thick and I made a new one for 2024 and it's just as bad as this one. <laughs> I learned obviously nothing from how thick this is and how long it's taken me to get through it. Although, you know, I don't do this every day. I'm doing other things. Now that I have my stuff in Artemat, I work on Artemat a lot. Like, not my whole day, but the majority of my day. And at night while I'm watching TV, I'm either fussy cutting something or I'm knitting or I'm doing something. I'm not painting, but I'm doing other things because I need a little break from doing that kind of stuff. Let's see if we can't get some of that redness out of there. Although, not a bad thing. Oh, I just like the way... It turned out. This is my homage to um, Valentine's Day. And I'm going to wait for that to dry up a bit. Actually, I'm going to go get the heat gun and dry it, and then I'm going to come back and doodle on them. Alrighty, all dried. Uh, let's see. Yeah, nice and dry. Now I can doodle on them, but what I, I want to outline all the hearts like I did these two, but I'm not sure I want to doodle in the hearts. I might want to doodle the background around the hearts. So I think I've talked about this in a previous video. If I did, I will try to put it at the end of the video, like what you can click on after you finish this one sort of thing. What do they call those? End pages or whatever. Um, I started this in 2019, and I did a lot of stuff in it, looked up a lot of patterns, learned some new things. But I want to use some kind of string where all the hearts are kind of attached to each other in a, in a way. So I'm looking for some kind of pattern where I can connect them. I do, I do like this kind of stuff, but I'm not sure if that's, I think that might be too busy. So I'm looking through this book for inspiration. I don't know. I saw somebody who did this on an um, Instagram um, photo. I forgot how much I love doing this one. I do love this one. And I subscribed to that person on Instagram and started following them because I like their art. I found them on Pinterest by accident. Okay, let's see. Is there anything in here? I don't think this is the kind of thing. I don't I don't know. Do I want to make straight things that go... Here, I guess you can't see what I'm talking about. I'm not sure. Do I want to make straight things that go right through the hearts? It, co it probably would work. I don't know. 
I, I don't know. All right, we're going to keep looking. I'm going to thumb through this. And I think I mentioned this in a live with um, Bar Barbara Clark and Peg. I can't remember. Or maybe it was live with Cindy and... No, it was it was Barbara Clark and Peg. Um where I said I only got up to June in this. So maybe this June I will finish the back half of the book. <laughs> it's only taken four years. You know, why rush? I need something for the background. And I don't want it too busy, but I want it busy enough. I like doing stuff like this. But I don't know if that would be too busy. All right, let me keep going. Let me find, find something. This is somebody else's art right here. It's not mine. Only the stuff I did through the numbers is mine. This might be an option, but the things that would be in the middle would be the hearts. I just want some way to connect them. A string of some sort. This one is a, a form of a string or, you know, but I think that's too regimented. Maybe I should do the bows. Oh, that's it. I should do the bows. Is there an example of that in here? Oh, I do love the bookshelf with the books. Okay. Let me see if I have... Uh, if I have anything that's an example of what I want to do. Well, these hearts are kind of connected. I could do that. That might be a better idea. So I could embellish the outside of the heart and then hook the... Oh, yes, this is it. <laughs> this is it. This is it. All right. Let's see how we can mess... I mean, how we can do this. All right, so the whole point is to do the embellishment around the heart and then to connect them. So, so let me do the outsides. I'm going to fast forward through this part here of outlining the hearts and then... I will start on this portion. Actually, let me do this, turn the camera off and do this stuff because it's kind of boring. And then I come back and I will do the embellishments.
Okay, now that I fast forward through the whole thing, um, the camera was turned off and I was transferring the stuff onto the card that's gonna go into my PC. What I did was I came back and I painted in all the hearts with the red uh, watercolor that I had. I just added a little water to this and then painted them in. I didn't care if they were light or dark. I actually entertained the thought of going back and then doing it on this side. So, and then I thought, well, there, I've done them differently. Do I want to continue that going this way? And then this, I, I'm not going to touch it. I'm going to leave it alone because I don't want to mess it up. It's not exactly like what this was, but this was an inspiration, which I would have rather it looked like this. So we're just going to go with, it was an inspiration. <laughs> what do they call a design element when you make a mistake? Well, there you go. There's a whole page of design element. <laughs> Anyway, so um, I had a good time using this roll and dipping it into the watercolor and then kind of playing around with it. I think this would look really good on watercolor paper. This is not watercolor paper. Um, I think this would look lovely on watercolor paper. And if I did it with watercolor paper, I would certainly make sure that my things that go around the hearts are all the same because this one's kind of weird. This one's weird. I mean, there's a couple of them that... I started out thinking it was one way, and then I got to looking at see, I got to looking at it and decide. Well, no, all the little ones are the same. Plus, none of them had the line through the heart, so I think I was only supposed to draw the line, draw the heart, do the, you know, so there's no line in the heart. But it's done. Ta-da! So there it is for today. Um, I did some. Let me pull this off to the side so you guys can see it better. I did some paper dyeing last week or week before last and decided not to do a video on it because it was so long and drawn out. But I wanted to put them on here on camera. This is done with Color Burst, the sprinkly powder stuff, and you spritz it with water and it goes, well, it did. <laughs> on that side and this side. I just love the way this looks. And I know that if I scan it and try to print it off, it is not going to be the same shades of green it is here. So I think I'm probably just not going to scan it. Oh, well, maybe I'll try it and see what happens. But I don't think I'm going to be happy with the results after scanning it. This is stuff I did with blue. Uh, unimpressive. Then I used that same blue again, thinking that I could make it better. Uh, no. <laughs> unimpressive. But... This will make great background paper. Okay, here's purple, and it stuck to the cookie sheet when I went to pick it up, and it ripped it. Although I like the paper, but it did rip it, so this might be something I use in collages because it's already ripped. Here's another one. These are This is color burst again. This is purple. I have uh, green, yellow, and purple. I think those are the three that I bought, and I might buy more because I really like using this stuff. So that's that side. This side was unimpressive. Although, I do like this part in the corner, but it didn't spread out. This one, like, I went really crazy on this one. I like this. The back side is, oh, just like that green one, the first one I showed you, it worked on both sides. Here's this one. I mixed together a whole bunch of different colors on it. Eh, not, not a great success in my eyes. Some people might like it, but for me, it's not successful. I mean, it's okay. There's that. This one. That's part of that blue splotchy stuff before. More blue splotchy stuff, and it came off on my hands when I ironed it. There it is. This one, I thought, okay, well, there's these little splotches on here. So I took a silicone nib, and I, like, drew it dragged it through the water, and look, even now, look at that. You can see it coming off of there. I think it's from the black from this. I'm not sure. Anyway, so I puttered around with that. Again, this is I don't consider this to be a huge success. See all those lines? I was kind of hoping it would lead it to splatter out. No, it did not. <laughs> so I wanted to show you my, the efforts of my dyeing paper the other day. I think this was my most, I, I like this piece the most, and it's very busy, and I think 
for this kind of thing. I like the Very Busy. It shows up very nice on the camera here. All these, I really like it. This was not Kool-Aid dyeing. This was just water and color burst and a spritz of isopropyl alcohol in it too. I threw everything at it, but the kitchen sink. And I even considered that. I would have considered that if I thought I could have got even better print. Probably should have done it on some of these others that are kind of boring, huh? Anyway, so that is my Tuesday video. And I will see you guys in the next video. When that will be, I don't know. Hopefully I'll have something for next week on Tuesday. Maybe there will be a video in between Tuesdays. It depends on what notion strikes me at the moment. So... Thank you for all the new subscribers. I noticed my numbers have gone up. I am really trying to hit 2,000. So I do appreciate you jumping on the bandwagon. Um, maybe you joined me because I made little books. I will get back to that eventually. But right now I'm just having a good time doing whatever strikes my fancy at the moment. So there's a little bit of everything for everybody on here. Um, so I hope you guys enjoy it. And I do appreciate all the new subscribers and the ones who have stuck with me through all this um, crazy going back and forth stuff. Let me show you this. I've been make I was making mini books, and I got a lot of people who like doing the little mini books. So I, I still like doing the mini books. I just am very into. Right now, my attention is distracted by the Artemat stuff that I put into the the machines, and so I try to send out a hundred pieces of mail. I'm trying to this year to send out a hundred pieces a month, and that takes a lot of time because I do a lot of fiddly paper paper things with flowers and plants and it takes a lot and I'm using this a lot when you pick things up with the tweezer and dee, 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 dee. it gets um, kind of tiresome it wears my brain out and then I don't want to do art all day after seeing that I, I just I don't want to do any more art later so I go knit and that's boring to watch because I'm not doing anything exciting I'm just doing stockinette and garter stitch and those of you who knit know what that is so anyway, I promise to come back hopefully next week. Well, I don't promise, but I hope to come back next week and show something different. I I think what I want to do is I got round uh, rubber for carving from my niece for Christmas, and I have not done a video yet on how to carve the round. So that might be what I work on this week in between all the art and mat things I need to get in, get done and get in the mail. So I will see you guys next week. Bye. Thank mm -hmm. you.